Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy. I'm back and I got another video. This time I'm reviewing the 118 scale. Lamborghini Auto R Aventador in pink. Yes, I got it for a really nice price as you guys just saw. I basically came out to like 140 something total. Here's the first pages of the brochure. Pages 1 and 2 is talking about dimensions and you know statistics of the diecast car. Pages 3 and 4 is talking about um, all the different number of parts used. For example, diecast parts, chrome parts, plastic parts, etc. On the diecast car, part 5 and 6 is talking about functioning, opening parts, and how they function. And you know, and then we have uh, an instruction sheet which shows you how to like properly open the spoiler, the trunk, and the doors. You know, then we move on onto the car. Um, we got a certificate about the density that comes with it, like we said earlier. And um, you know, this this model overall, I, I like I like the packaging. It's nice. It's mostly Lamborghini letters, not too much Auto R logos or anything. Mostly Lamborghini things, so that's pretty neat. You know, you, you, I guess it could pass as a dealer edition. Here we have the whole car open with the spoiler out and the. And the and the hood open and the doors up and it looks just superb. Um, here we taking a little better look at the lights and you know look, looks quite quite nice. Very nice sharp details on this model. You guys just just take notice of the paint. It has gloss, so it's not uh, just a matte paint or anything like that. No, it has a gloss coat on top which to show you reflections and also you know it, it, it protects the paint really that's really what I like them too plus they look nice when it's line headed um here we have the motor as you guys can see it has like real real mesh with perforations and here we have the vents you know same situation just going an extra step in the competition auto art as always here we have the interior um, as you guys can see, you know, you, you got, you have, um, <clears throat> nice carpet, nice simulator leather, nice logos, you know, you got struts on the doors, you got actually, like, you know, the same little buttons we used to push in to open the Lambo doors on the Auto Arts, which we all love, um, you know, it's just, again, like, it's one of those models I like, although it's not perfect. I would say the one thing I did not like, although more detailed than the competition, I believe it's less functional, and that is the trunk, or really, like, the front trunk, you know, the front, you know, bonnet, however you guys want to call it. I mean, it just, you know, you could lift it up, but it doesn't really show much open, and you gotta hold the car upside down to open it. It's just, it, 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 and here's the thing, and you really would chip the paint while doing it too. So this one, I wouldn't recommend you guys even open the front um, trunk because you might chip the paint. It's very fragile. You gotta flip it upside down, and it, it wedges and grinds the paint, so it leads to chipping. Don't do it. Um, here we got the wheels. Nice brake calipers. Nice, you know, ceramic looking brake discs look like metal metal wheels you know they spin how they supposed to you also got Lamborghini lettering here we have the other side of the interior gorgeous Lamborghini written on the side all the buttons painted you got seat belts you got struts on the doors I mean it's, it's, it's just a superb superb just a well-rounded model um I mean, like, I'll tell you like this, is it worth the $200? I would say it is. Here we have the back. Um, I do like that it has a photo edge 3D Lamborghini chrome lettering. Um, that is very nice to see. I love the rear lights. I love the rear vents. Um, it has actual, the wings do go up on the side. You know, the spoiler goes up. It, it actually, if you guys didn't know that on the instruction sheet, you guys gotta be careful while bringing the spoiler up because you can damage the paint and scratch it. Um, let's see how this stands next to Welly FX. I have an actual the Italian flag version of the Welly FX. Um, for starters, I would say that the Auto Art version is a little bit wider 
but overall like the dimensions are pretty close so it's not like they look like if you display them together like they're gonna look like these different scales nah you could just they display together very well very nice for those of you that own uh welly effects a uh, brand of any a uh, lamborghini aventador 118 scale here we see the car like displayed on um, some other of my lamborghinis in one of my display cabinets and it's funny because on camera it looks closer to the purple than pink but you know I guess off camera without the flash it does look more pink and the other one does look more purple but um, here just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like among other auto art models you guys are probably own or are used to seeing like the turquoise SV or the red Super Legara Gallardo you know or of course one of my favorites right now the black